welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys didn't already know me, and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Today is game day here at UCF, and I just wanted to do my makeup a little bit more nicer because I feel like in college I never get to do my makeup anymore because everyone just bums it on campus. So when I do have the chance to do my makeup, I usually love to go all out, and today that's what I did. I have a little glitter on my eyelids, which I'm so obsessed with. You'll see it in a second. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So this is a toner by Lush. It's called Ooh Roma Water. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this actually helps to fight blemishes. So I use this as kind of like a primer water, but I also use another primer after this because I just want it to like all stick on my face, you know? So I mix this step in with my moisturizer. I actually recently got this one. It's the Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. And I don't put a lot of this on. I mean, it's such a tiny container, so I'm kind of greedy with it. But I actually just dip my finger in and get like a little bit on and usually I'll put it like on my cheeks and just on my forehead. So then we're done with the moisturizing step and then we're going to go into the actual primer. I'm sorry about my voice. I was sick for so long and I lost my voice. I had like post nasal drip. I don't even know what that is still, but it sucked. I like have never lost my voice from screaming or anything. So it was just like really weird because it took so much effort to talk and it still does like it's still not all the way there which is like really getting me mad now because I just want to be better already. And that's like a main reason why I couldn't film for like a good amount of time. The primer I just put on was the Professional by Benefit. Today is actually a game day for UCF so I'm just getting ready and we're going to go to a tailgate later and hopefully I'll get Sus High today because I am obsessed. Actually it's called Sus High. My bad, my bad. I think I'll always call it suicide though. This is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. A lot of people ask me what foundation I use and I'm really flattered, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the foundation. I look so pretty right now. <laughs> um, and I literally love it so much. Like next time I get a new foundation, someone comment on my video and be like, why did you get a new foundation? Like you should have just kept that one. Cause like sometimes you just like, don't need to like fix something that's not broken. So this foundation is like actually so perfect and like it matches my skin color like even when I'm like dark or like light, I don't know how, but it just like looks so good all the time. So I really, really recommend this. Obviously it's not gonna work out on every single person, which is really unfortunate. I really wish somebody would invent a foundation that would be so universal. <laughs> Probably impossible though. So I'm actually blending it out with the Pro Flawless Airbrush from Sephora. I literally say those two steps in like almost every video in the past, what, year? I don't know how long I've been using the foundation, but feels like forever. But unfortunately, I'm a broke college kid and I don't really have that much money to just like buy foundations just to test out like if I needed a new foundation then I would buy it next I'll be using my naked skin concealer in the color medium neutral and it's almost out which sucks because I feel like this one didn't last as long as the other one probably because I wasn't as greedy with how much I was using but I just repurchased this concealer on Sephora.com I'm so excited to get it because it's like really hard to get all this out <laughs> And then I put a little bit on my eyelids because I just feel like concealer is a lot better of an eyelid primer than a lot of other eyelid primers. I used to use the MAC eyelid primer um, in the color Laying Low. You probably all know that from my videos if you've watched them from that long ago. It wasn't that long ago actually, it was pretty recent. It kind of made my eyelids a little bit cakey and this eyelid primer <laughs> um, makes my eyelids like not cakey but it does kind of leave them a little bit oily because you know it's not as thick of a primer um but i do set it so i'll show you guys how i do that and it literally makes the world of a difference and i actually use my beauty blender dry i know that may sound like super weird to you guys but sometimes it's just so inconvenient to wet it and i don't know i just feel like a lot of the product actually stays on my face instead of coming off on the sponge if I don't wet my sponge. But I feel like it's just like a preference sometimes. Beauty Blender can be used in both ways. Because I have used my Beauty Blender wet with like a lot of other foundations and it worked so well. 
but this foundation and this concealer it just doesn't mix like with water I don't know it just like doesn't just doesn't go so I would really recommend if you were to get the stick foundation to blend it out with a brush also don't mind my eyebrows they're in the stages of growing out because when I went home this summer I went to like different people than usual and you know when that happens they kind of mess them up so now they're like super super thin and I used to have such like nice eyebrows <laughs> so sad gotta go through the ugly stages to get to the fleeky ones right so next I'm actually gonna be baking with my Laura Mercier powder I love this powder I say it in every single video oh my god but literally if you have not tried it please do try it I really don't think like drugstore powders match up to this and like the quality and just like the texture and especially like the flashback on your iPhone camera if you're taking a flash picture this won't give you that unless you cake it on like too much which which if you're baking you can just like wipe it off so I think you'll be good it is amazing because it gives you that like flawless look like it literally it makes your under eyes look flawless creaseless and I don't know I just can't say enough good things about it And I also set my eyelids and really just press that in so if you do put on eyeshadow later, it will be a lot easier to blend out. As you can see, I didn't use excess powder, like I didn't go too crazy. And you don't have to go insanely crazy, like this is still baking, like there is a little bit of excess and I'm definitely going to wipe it off. but. You don't have to slap it on and it definitely wastes less products so while we wait for the powder to just like settle in my face i'm gonna go ahead and like wipe off the excess on my eyes and get started on my eyeshadow i've come to realize that my makeup looks a lot better when i don't have any eyeshadow on or like really minimal or just like really natural browns but i haven't played with like any of my like nice lid colors or glitters or anything like that today i'm just gonna go back to the old me and do a little bit of glitter on my eyelid or we'll see how I'm feeling maybe not so first I'm taking my favorite color by MAC this is Saddle and my next favorite color by MAC is Corduroy so I like to just put it all over my lid at first and then just blend it into the crease my eye looks have been so minimal lately but I really enjoy it because first of all it doesn't take me as much time as it used to and it just looks so much like more natural you know so I'm really gonna be focusing saddle the lighter color all over my crease and kind of blending it up almost to my brow bone but not quite there next I'm gonna go in with corduroy and that was the darker color and I'm just gonna place this on my lid this is such an easy smoky eye like probably the easiest smoky eye I could ever do so as you can see the darker part is more on my lid and now I'm just gonna blend that out into the crease I don't know if I want to put glitter on. Like, it looks so pretty without it. A while back, I did actually a smoky eye video with these two colors and a bunch of other colors. But now I see that I literally only need these two colors to make a really nice smoky eye. I don't know why. Sometimes I just, like, complicate a lot of things, especially eye makeup. Like, I go for a transition color, then another transition color, then, like, five more transition colors, then we get into the medium colors, and then we go into, like, five more dark colors. I don't know. It's, it's a bad habit and I really need to like simplify things because obviously some people don't have like that big of a color range to choose from so I really want to simplify it for you guys. Hopefully you guys can achieve the same look. And I mean the key is really to blend it all out and you'll be fine with any colors you choose really. Even a blue like if you blend it out it'll be good. I'm going to blend a little more of the lighter color into my crease and just to make it a little bit more seamless. Okay, so I decided I'm going to attempt to put Mooning On by ColourPop. Looks good in the pot, it looks good on your finger, but somehow it just like doesn't really like look amazing on your eyelid. So I'm going to really try it out again because I just don't know why that happened. So this time I'm going to use my finger and see if that works better. This is somewhat of like the same color, but it has a little bit of a shimmer in it, so we'll see. Oh shit, I actually really like this. Number one tip for ColourPop, do not use brushes. I don't know, it just like works a lot better with your finger because it is so creamy. So, wow. I don't know why I've never used my fingers before. <laughs> Shout out to the devil on my shoulder for telling me to put glitter on my eye because I really like it. 
I love it. Oh my God. Yes. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because they're a mess and they still are a mess and just don't even look at them, honestly. I'm probably gonna go fix them later. But now I'm gonna go on to eyeliner and I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D tattoo liner. I don't really wanna do a wing, but I'm not sure if this look like needs a wing or something, you know, because it's pretty dramatic. So we're just gonna play it by ear. And I'm also gonna wipe off all the excess because I'm gonna do some under eye eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back in with corduroy and that was the darkest shade. And then I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line. So I basically just did my mascara because I literally do the same thing every single time. And I use Lash Sensational by Maybelline, Volume Express by Maybelline, and roller lash and oh my god I literally use like 500 mascaras <laughs> right now I'm taking my NARS casino bronzer and I hit Pam so bad but I probably won't repurchase this I actually just bought another bronzer and it's on its way here um, it is the beach bronzer by Urban Decay I just wanted to try it out I actually have never like swatched it or anything so going in blind <laughs> with this bronzer picking but I'm excited because I actually really wanted to find like a good contour color. Not just like a bronzer, like a really nice contour color. So hopefully it suffices. Then I'm going to put some on my forehead. My jawline. I never really know what the difference is. I think contour is just like a little bit more precise and bronzer is just like gives you a little bit of color in your face. So I'm taking the Milani bronzer in Soleil and I'm just going to kind of buff it in right where I put my contour just on my cheeks though because this does have shimmer in it. I don't really want a lot of shimmer on my forehead or jawline or something like that. So it gives such a beautiful color. I actually like wasn't really searching for a bronzer but I saw this in CVS one day and like how can you like resist like the packaging is amazing and it's so beautiful I thought it was a highlighter when I first saw it next I'm just gonna contour my nose real quick with this little sample hula bronzer I really don't know how to contour my nose like I've seen people start from here bring it down and it looks okay but like some people's nose contours look so snatched and I really want to like learn how to just make it so much better because my nose is like one of my biggest insecurities. So I love to learn. So if you guys have ever watched like a nose tutorial on YouTube, send me the link because I have been like researching it. Then I'm going to be putting a little bit more color on my cheeks and I'm going to go in with Apricot Kiss by L'Oreal. Then for highlight, I'm taking my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And first I'm just gonna spray my brush with this rose water. I always wanna put on a nose highlight, but like I know I'm gonna get so sweaty that it's not gonna look super cute. So I'm just gonna skip that stuff today. <laughs> Then lastly for lips, I'm going to be taking a new color I just got. It's the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. It looks like this. It's so pretty. That kind of looks dumb right now, but don't worry. I'm going to lip line. This is ColourPop Grunge. I, I know I look like I have clown lips right now. It's because I just like scrubbed my lips with the Glam Glow stuff. It plumps my lips to a whole nother level, which I like. I actually like my lips like really, really plump. So that's it of this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing me create it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,